Legendary golfer Tiger Woods is in a Los Angeles hospital right now after a serious car accident this morning. His agent says that Woods underwent surgery for injuries to his legs. Good evening. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. The first officer to respond to the scene believes that Woods' seatbelt may have saved his life. We have team coverage tonight, beginning with ABC's Marcy Gonzalez, who has the latest on the investigation into the crash. This SUV left crumbled after rolling downhill multiple times with Tiger Woods behind the wheel. Fire, we have a rollover with someone uh, trapped. Rescuers using an ax to break through the windshield and free the legendary pro golfer. The Los Angeles County Fire Department says Woods has serious injuries to both legs. The 45 year old was rushed to a hospital and into surgery. He was able to communicate and he was conscious. Woods was the only person in the SUV when it lost control around 715 Tuesday morning south of LA. No other vehicles were involved. No skid marks, no braking. So apparently the first contact was with the center median and from there then cross into the opposing lane of traffic, hit the curb, hit a tree, and there was several uh, rollovers during that process. The SUV marked Genesis Invitational, a tournament Woods hosted this weekend, but didn't play in because he's recovering from his fifth back surgery, saying this to CBS Sports. I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling fine. I'm a little bit stiff. So Tiger, seven weeks from today, final round of the Masters. You're going to be there. Gotta hope so. Fans and friends stunned that the world famous athlete who's bounced back from personal and physical obstacles for years is now facing yet another. The sheriff says there is no indication Woods was impaired in any way, but says it does appear the vehicle may have been speeding. Investigators are looking into that and whether Woods may have been on his cell phone or otherwise distracted at the time of the crash on a notoriously dangerous stretch of road. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Los Angeles. Within the past two hours, Tiger's team tweeted some details of his injuries. A statement called them, quote, significant orthopedic injuries to his right leg. There were multiple bone fractures. Surgeons put a rod in his leg, plus screws and pins in the foot and ankle. Tiger is awake and recovering in the hospital. Southern California is where he grew up, you know, and so he has special ties to the Southern California area and, and San Diego, and I know he loves San Diego. Tiger Woods has a strong connection to Torrey Pines and made many fans in San Diego's golf community. Our ABC tennis reporter Anthony Pura has their reaction tonight. I spoke to those in the local golf circuit about what Tiger Woods means to the sport and to the game. They hope that he'll be able to get back on the course. The crash hospitalizing Tiger Woods, drawing strong reactions from the San Diego golfing community. The CEO of the Century Club of San Diego and Farmers Insurance Open released this statement Tuesday. Like the rest of the golf and sports worlds, we were saddened to hear this news today. Tiger and Torrey Pines are inextricably linked thanks to his record seven victories in the Farmers Insurance Open and his remarkable triumph in a 19-hole playoff here at the 2008 U.S. Open. We wish him well in his recovery from surgery. So sad to hear about it, you know, because they, the first bits of news that nobody really knew what happened, you know, and, and nobody really knew, you know, how seriously injured that Tiger was. Tom Wilson saw Woods in action many times. He ran the Farmers Insurance Open until 2012. He was in charge of the tournament at Torrey Pines, going back to when it was still the Buick Invitational. He says the region has a special connection to Woods. Southern California is where he grew up, you know, and so he has special ties to the Southern California area and, and San Diego, and I know he loves San Diego. The U.S. Open will be held at Torrey Pines this summer. Woods was working his way back from an injury, but Wilson says there was a lot of anticipation Woods would have been able to play. Now he thinks that's less likely. My hope for him, my personal hope for him, is that he'll be able to rehab himself like he has in the past and uh, probably won't be this year that he's back on the tour again, but uh, hopefully he, he gets himself uh, well and, and is able to play the game. Anthony Pura, ABC 10 News. Tigers fellow PGA Tour members are also in shock tonight. ABC 10 News sports director Ben Higgins is joining us now with some of the well wishes and a strange golf coincidence. Ben. 
Tiger Woods is facing a long recovery, but at least he may have an inspiration. Hall of Fame golfer Ben Hogan also suffered massive injuries in a car accident and came back to win the U.S. Open 18 months later. Now, a return to the PGA Tour may be the last thing on Tiger Woods' mind tonight as he recovers from emergency surgery, but as a student of golf history, he knows Hogan's story, how he and his wife were nearly killed in a collision with a Greyhound bus in 1949. Doctors thought Hogan wouldn't walk again. Not only did he walk, but he went on to win six major titles. Now Tiger faces his own long road to recovery, and just like Hogan, he'll have the support of fellow PGA Tour players. I'm sick to my stomach. Uh, you know, it hurts to see one of your, I mean, now my closest friends, um, you know, get in, a, in an accident. You just hope Tiger's all right, you know, and we all know he's a strong cookie, physically, mentally, so if he's... If someone's going to get through this, he will. From everything that uh, I know about Tiger, you know, I'm, I'm sure he will recover and he will do everything in his power to come back. I'm sure he will. Tiger's longtime rival, San Diego's Phil Mickelson, also tweeted his support saying, We are all pulling for you, Tiger. Everyone hopes and prays for your full and speedy recovery. As it turns out, Tiger's last competitive round was in a tournament playing alongside his 11-year-old son, Charlie, Back in December, a touching moment. Now fans and competitors all hope it's a moment we'll get to see again in the future. I'm Ben Higgins, ABC 10 News. That we do. Ben, thank